Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for uh, joining me. Today I'm going to show you a cool tool I made called Strut. What Strut is, is a uh, graphical editor for Impress.js presentations. For those of you who don't know what Impress.js is, I got a little demo of it right here. You can think of Impress.js as basically PowerPoint or Keynote on steroids. It basically gives you awesome transitions between your slides and the slideshow or presentation. So here's one built with Impress.js. You see the first three slides are standard transitions. Then we get some really cool power of Impress.js with our next couple transitions. Here we get a nice zoom out. Next one we're going to rotate. And then we're going to get to this third slide over here and you can kind of see it. And we're going to rotate to that as well. Zoom down, zoom back out. So Impress.js is pretty freaking sweet. The only problem is if you're not a developer you're probably not going to make an Impress.js presentation just because there's no tools to help you build Impress.js presentations. So that's where Strut comes in. Let me go ahead and show you that. So here's Strut. Here's the basic interface. You know, it looks like PowerPoint or Keynote. You know, you got your preview pane here and your slide editor here. So to show you, you know, how Strut works and how you build an Impress.js presentation, let me just go ahead and make a presentation for you. So this presentation is going to be about Hercules. You can make text, rotate your text. And move your text around, you can skew it. You know, all sorts of transforms that you'd like to be able to do. Add a new slide. The font size is a bit bigger. Alright, let's put the man of the hour in here. Get a little rotation going. Change the font, something cool. Change the color. It's pretty sweet. We can also insert some images. Need an image of Hercules here for our presentation. Preview keeps your aspect ratio, so you always know what it looks like. So there we go, we've got a presentation. And if you want, you know, you could just hit you're done and preview show. Then you see a presentation about the ages of Hercules. But you know, that's not that, that cool, you know, just doing a regular presentation. So let's go to our transition editor right here. This lets you see the slides in relation to one another. So let's say we want to see a preview of three while we transition to slide two. So we move slide three over here, slide two over here, and then we do preview show. And then as we transition to slide two, we're going to slide past slide three real fast. We go back from two to one, we slide past three real quick. So that's cool. Um, Let's see, we want to set up a different transition. You know, we can rotate this guy on the x axis. So that way, as we rotate, as we go to two, we rotate around the scene. So you see, three rotates through. And you can do more than that. You can rotate this one in the y direction, rotate him in the z, bunch them all up together. Pretty sweet. So basically the possibilities are endless. You kind of got to experiment to really get an idea of how it all works. But if you've used Impress.js before, you kind of know you're, you kind of know what you're, you're doing already. So yeah, guys, that's Strut. Uh, this is just the alpha release. I'm hoping to have a whole lot more done in the next two weeks. Uh, check it out on GitHub. The code's there. Uh, if you want to contribute, that's fine. Oh, I got one more thing to show you guys. I just finished this. 
Um, if, if you want, you can export your slideshow to a JSON string. So you can copy that, you know, save it in a text file somewhere. And then say, come back to Strut later. Slideshow, you can import what you exported last time. And boom, you got your whole presentation back. You got your transitions, are all still there. You can preview your show again. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. There's also undo features for Strut. Um, soon there will be save, save as, open recent, all the things you expect. So, yeah, keep checking it out, guys. The uh, link to the GitHub project and this live, the link to this live demo is, also, is all in the description. Thanks for watching.